The best thing about my job is you're only limited by your imagination. My name is Fiona Graham. I am a Nudgee woman from Western Australia. When I was in high school, I planned to finish year 12. That was seen as a big step because not many of my family had finished year 12. So I was like, well, that's not going to stop me. But I became a single parent and I had to wait till my son was older and started school before I could go to university. But I heard about um, the Institute of Curie Education at Deakin University. So they fly Indigenous students in from right around Australia and the Torres Strait to study block releases and they give you intensive support while you study at home. Um, I did my degree and I thought I'd apply for some graduate opportunities here in Canberra because I thought Canberra's where you know politics happens and my degree in political science was um, really interesting to me so I wanted to do it day by day. When I was in Ausaid um, I got to experience all this um, knowledge and experience from the overseas aid program in communities in the Pacific where they were going through issues that my family was experiencing back in WA. So I got to see firsthand of how other communities grappled with similar challenges and how government used its policies and programs to help enable. The value of having Indigenous Australians working on the aid program helps bring that lived experience. Where in foreign policy can Australia push the global agenda in a way where we have you know, our, our own strengths. And it was pretty clear that economic development is one of our um, greatest stories to tell because domestically, the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet was really energising and building the Indigenous business sector in Australia, recognising that by enabling communities not just to set their own development, but to help them to use their business to fund their development and be independent of the government. That was working quite well and was working well in the aid program. So it made sense to me that when the delegation went to um, the UN expert mechanism on the rights of Indigenous peoples in Geneva, was to go and convince other states that it was worth investigating what can the UN do to help enable Indigenous peoples to set their own economic development priorities. So, um, so with the foreign policy, it was really just me and a friend sitting down with a whiteboard mapping out where can Australia add value to global policy? In Canberra, helping people realise that Australia, yes, we have our challenges, but that shouldn't stop us from um, taking our strengths overseas and sharing our lessons with other countries and other governments. <laughs>